we bring you the very best and the very worst of NBC. k k k k a t i e owns daytime talk for now. Plus, all rise for media legal analysis in our exclusive Judge and Jury. Stand by for the TV news. This is the TV News TV, brought to you by CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights. One location, two conferences, one price to access both. For registration and information, visit CTAMConferences.com. Welcome to the TV News TV. I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington. It's Wednesday, September 12th, and we begin with NBC. And here is the best news. Sunday Night Football, featuring the return of Peyton Manning, scored the most viewers ever in Sunday Night Football history, 27.9 million. Now for the terrible news for the Peacock, and it's courtesy of NBC News. And today, on the hallowed 11th anniversary of 9/11, Today opted to go with an interview with Chris Jenner about her new breast implants. And dumped live coverage of the 9/11 moment of silence at Ground Zero. I suppose if you really wanted to alienate your entire viewer base and send them all over to say "Good morning, America," this would be the way that you would go about it. All right, let's talk about daytime talk. Okay, according to the premier ratings, Katie Couric is the new queen of daytime talk. Tying Dr. Phil's ratings record for a talker premiere. Now, way off the pace was the premiere of Jeff Probst, who was down nine percent in viewership for his time periods from last year's fair. And bringing up the rear was the premiere of Ricky Lake. Go Ricky, go Ricky. I don't think so. Ricky Lake's premiere was off a whopping 40 percent in time slots from last year's programming, and that is going to leave a mark. Available every Wednesday here at the TV News TV. All rise for media legal analyst Gwendolyn Lindsay Jackson and our exclusive judge and jury. All rise. A Los Angeles jury awarded billionaire casino owner Steve Wynn $20 million in damages on Monday in his defamation lawsuit against Joe Francis, the creator of the video series Girls Gone Wild. Now, the lawsuit accused Francis of publicly stating on several occasions, including during a national television broadcast, that Wynn wanted to have him killed over his gambling debt and buried in the desert. Now, what's amazing is Francis repeated this. To a TMZ reporter and also on ABC's Good Morning America. Now the jury thought that those statements were slanderous and made with malice. That means the penalty could be much larger because the parties reconvened on Tuesday to determine punitive damages. Now this is a very strange case that all began as part of a gambling debt that Francis owed in 2009. He refused to pay two million dollars that he owed to Wynn's Las Vegas casino, leading Wynn to collect from his debtor in a California court. Now, during one of the hearings in this dispute, Francis allegedly leapt to his feet to tell the judge about the death threats. TMZ picked up the story. And one of their reporters, who was taken aback by these accusations, asked Francis to repeat the statement outside the courtroom, and apparently he did. Wynn maintained that such an accusation could have undermined his business empire in a state like Nevada, where the gambling industry is tightly regulated. Now let's watch this case this week to see how much punitive damages are going to be awarded in this case, in addition to the 20 million. All rise. The TV News Judge and Jury is brought to you by TVLegalNews.com, featuring media legal analyst Gwendolyn Lindsay Jackson. Log on to TVLegalNews.com. Hey, you want to win a free pass to CTAM Summit and Insights conferences? Now, to be in it to win it, head on over to the TVNews.tv on Facebook and simply like today's edition of the TV News, and you are registered to win. Available Thursday, the Sports TV News with Eric Mackerlin and the Programming Pulse with Susan Hibben. If you'd like to be a sponsor of the TV News, just like our friends at CTAM, we would love to have you with us. 
To get started, just shoot us an email at advertise at the tvnews.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. It's been such an honor to work on planning the CTAM Summit with my partner Ed Carroll. The theme is all about today's evolving digital media ecosystem and also a very multi-generational, multi-platform, multicultural world. The media ecosystem is changing rapidly in terms of the different platforms available for consumers and how they digest the content. Everyone will participate, everyone will learn. If we can use the conference to understand the platforms and the content and to build a, a better and cleaner environment, then we can help the consumer navigate through what is increasingly a complex territory. You'll be able to take away nuggets for your work every day. Plus, you'll have a lot of fun by just seeing all of our wonderful colleagues in beautiful, sunny Orlando, Florida.